uh, thank you everyone, thank you for waiting. Uh, tough movie, hope you're all okay. Breath, relax. Uh, uh, please welcome to the stage the uh, winner of the London East Asia Film Festival Award for Best Actress from Respect, the very talented Han Chi-Min. things go. Um, I will uh, ask a few questions to begin with and then maybe we can get some questions uh, from uh, the audience. Uh, and I'm going to move away a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I do not want to be in the same picture. <laughs> Thank you for coming tonight. <laughs> okay, so we're good for sound. Um, well, let's uh, let's just start and ask you about how you came to Miss Beck, because this is, in a way, uh, a, a different role than the many of the things that you will have, uh, have done before. Uh, a very demanding role. Um, how did you get joined up with this uh, amazing project? 이 미스백이란 영화를 하시게 될 계기가 궁금한데요. 이전에 하셨던 역할과 상당히 다르고 굉장히 어, 도전을 많이 요구하는 힘든 캐릭터라는 예상이 되는데 어떻게 되신 건가요? 어, 일단은 보통 이제 시나리오를 처음 받았을 때 어, 그거를 읽을 때 느낌은 보통 이렇게 영화를 상상하게 되면서 읽게 돼요. 근데 제가 사실 이 비스백 시나리오 처음 받았던 때가 외국에 다녀와서 약간 시차 때문에 한 새벽 4시경에 읽었었어요. 약간 감성적인 시간이죠. <웃음> 네, 그래서 그렇다 보니까 더이 이야기가 영화처럼 다가온 게 아니라 정말 어딘가에서 벌어지고 있는 일을 접한 그런 느낌이었어요. 그래서 어, 이게 이성적으로 아, 내가 이런 캐릭터를 잘 소화할 수 있을까나 아니면 어, 기존에 제가 갖고 있었던 캐릭터랑 너무 다른데 어, 이런 도전을 할수 있을까 이런 고민과 걱정보다는 어, 시나리오 안에 백상화라는 인물과 지은이가 너무 아프게 다가왔었던 것 같아요. 그래서 어, 이런 장르를 어, 좀 영화화했으면 좋겠다는 생각과 어, 이 인물들을 좀 안아주고 싶은 그런 마음으로 선택을 하게 됐습니다. Uh, when I first saw the script, well, usually when I first read a script, I envision what the whole movie is going to be like. But the case in the case of this particular script for Miss Beck, um, I actually read it after I had returned from a trip overseas, and um, it was kind. I I think it was around 4 a.m. So it's when you know you get very emotional, and the impression that I got from reading the script was. I didn't read it like a script. I didn't think of it as a movie. It felt more like I was reading about something that actually happened or is happening. And the obvious questions would have been, you would assume, I would have asked myself, can I do this? Can I do this well? And also, it's very different, like you said, it's very different from the characters that I've played, so would it be possible for me to do that? But rather than those kind of questions, I was thinking more of how it hurt, how my heart hurt, and how my heart ached for these two characters, Peck sang and chi the little girl. And I felt I really want to bring this to the screen, and I just wanted to give a hug to these two characters. The next step in terms of trying to prepare yourself for this role, was there was there research involved even before you, you get onto the set? 그러면 캐릭터 준비를 어떤 식으로 하셨는지를 촬영하시기 전에 음, 아무래도 어, 기존에 제가 맡았던 캐릭터랑 어, 갭이 크다 보니까 어, 이제 관객분들이 생각하시는 저의 이미지와 어, 백상화의 캐릭터의 그 갭을 줄이는 어, 작업이 조금 힘들 거라는 예상을 했었고요. 그러다 보니까 어, 아무래도 그냥 시나리오에 그려져 있는 그 백상화의 삶 이전에 
어, 어, 엄마로부터 버림을 받고 어, 그뒤 혼자 살아가면서 또 전과자로 낙인을 지킨 그런 시나리오 그려져 있지 않는 그런 전사에 대해서 어, 감독님이랑 살아가는 과정이 제일 오래, 오래 걸렸었던 것 같고요. 어, 그런 과정을 접한 후에 그 다음에 어, 이제 상하로서 할수 있는 그런 뭔가 행동이나 몸짓이나 말투 같은 거 그리고 음, 상하라면 과연 어떠한 모습으로 살아가고 있을까 이런 과정 순서로 어, 쌓아가게 됐었던 것 같아요. Uh, well, in preparing for the role, there's a certain image that the general public have of me because of all the characters that I played. And that is quite different from the character that I'm about to portray. And I was thinking that. And Sangha is someone who was abandoned by her mother. She becomes, um, she gains a criminal record. And so things like this, details like this, that were originally not in the script, some of the things. Um, I talked a lot with the director, and I think that's what took the longest, um, working to try and build up a past um, for this character. And once um, we had that set, I moved on to thinking about how would this woman react to things? How would she act? What would her physical gestures be like? And how would she talk? And also, if I were this woman called Sanga, how would I live my life? What's, what's extraordinary is uh, that uh, in every scene, we absolutely believe the reality of your, uh, of your reactions. Um, this is a woman who can't really express affection very easily, but it is a woman whose anger from what has happened to her in the past is, is only just uh, below the surface. With the director, did you set out a set of boundaries of, of how this character would work? 사실 굉장히 놀랍다고 생각한 게 장면마다 이그 캐릭터를 연기 사실 연기인데 연기 같지 않은 그런 모습들을 보면서 매 장면마다 너무 사실적이다 이 사람의 반응이 그런 생각이 들었습니다. 그래서 바로 믿게끔 되, 어, 되는 그런 걸볼 수가 있었는데. 그리고 이 사람은 애정이나 감정 표현을 잘 못하는구나 이건 너무나도 분명했고 그렇지만 분노가 말 그대로 여기까지 차 올라와서 표면 밑에 바로 밑에 자리하고 있다라는 것도 짐작할 수가 있었거든요. 그래서 혹시 감독님하고 이런 부분에 대해서 경계를 잡는다든가 이 사람은 어느 정도까지만 아니면 어느 이상은 안 되겠다라든가 그런 경계를 혹시 정하신 게 있나요? 딱히 경계를 짓기보다는 <웃음> 어, 그러니까 아까 대답이랑 조금 동일시되는 부분이 있기도 한데 어, 그 상하의 이제 과거 어린 시절 버림 받은 후부터의 그런 모든 생활이 아무래도 어, 항상 세상에 몰려 있고 구석에 혼자 세상과 맞서 싸우게 되는 그런 어, 어린 아이였던 거죠. 그래서 지금은 물론 어른의 형태를 갖추고 있지만 어, 말씀해 주신 대로 어, 어린 아이와 이런 대화의 소통 방, 방법이나 사회에 적응하는 그런 어, 능력 같은 것들은 어린 아이에 머물러 있는 상황이라고 생각이 들었었어요. 그래서 그런 감정들을 어, 과거의 전사를 쌓으면서 어, 과연 상하람의 어, 이런 씬에서 이런 상황에서 어, 어느 정도 어떻게 어, 표현을 하고 그런 감정의 포커스를 좀 맞췄었고요. 어, 뭔가 분노가 차올라도 음, 뭐 이거를 어, 어디까지만 정하자라는 그런 레벨을 두진 않았고 어, 현장에서 다른 배우분들과 호흡하면서 그냥 느껴지는 감정을 자연스럽게 어, 표현을 했었던 것 같아요. Uh, I, we didn't really say. I didn't say anything funny yet. <laughs> uh, we, we, neither I nor the director set any kind of boundaries for the character, and um, this kind of has something to do with my previous comment, where um, she was um, Sangha, the character. She was abandoned when she was very young, and her life after that was basically being in, stuck in a corner because she was cornered and having to fight by herself against the entire world, and. 
now she is an adult, so physically she's an adult, but as you can see from the way she communicates with this little kid, you can see that her social skills are inept. And also it's as if she's grown on the outside, but inside she's still stuck at that child's um, mentality. And so while I was working on uh, with the director, we were discussing what, would her, uh, what was her past, what did she experience, while we were thinking about that, I was also thinking about um, what if she were in this kind of circumstance, a circumstance or situation, how would she act? What would be natural for her to do? And so that, that's how I prepared for such uh, scenes. And uh, in terms of uh, maybe restricting or um, the level of anger that she's going to portray, we, we didn't decide on anything like that. I didn't decide on anything like that. So for each scene, as I worked with the actor or actors in the scene, uh, what, I uh, what I expressed was what came out naturally as a result of the chemistry between us. So, the我们在上海的时候，呃，其实呢，他们在上海的时候，呃，其实呢，他们在上海的时候，呃，其实呢，他们在上海的时候，呃，其实呢，他们在上海的时候，呃，其实呢，他们在上海的时候，呃，其实